hello scorpios this is your 40 no sorry 24 welcome back to the channel you guys welcome back i hope that everybody is doing blessed and feeling the special power okay <laughs> the light and peace energy that is coming towards you today so this is going to be your 24 hours read we're gonna see what the energy is this is going to be a once watch situation so i'm not going to dabble into anybody's energy we're just going to see what the universe is going to give you okay within this 24 i feel like your no contact is a little deeper so i did that as well for you and yeah so let's just see what the energy is for the next 24 right so if this resonates, go ahead and thumbs up the video here in the YT. But if it doesn't resonate, I will have your playlist linked below in the description. Also, Scorpio, if you are ready for a personal reading, all the information should be in the bio as well. For those of you who have sent me emails for to schedule an appointment, just give me a few. <laughs> I'm trying to take a break from emails because I've been on there like, sometimes I've been on there for like two days. No, no, I'm sorry. No, the whole day. Yeah, you might as well say a whole two days because i'd be on the emails trying to keep up with the emails a lot because i don't want it to turn out like how it started before like when i first started i had emails going back four months okay so i'm really trying to keep up with the emails but today i'm gonna take a break um yeah so let's see what's going on for you Holy Spirit, thank you. Tell me more. All right, so we have the Six of Cups energy. We have the Ten of Wands. And we also have the Hangman. Woo! So someone that really likes you, Scorpio, is playing the distant game. This is what I'm feeling. Why am I seeing there is like a bird in here, though? There are so many things that's going on. When you first met this person or first got involved with this person and then you felt like, oh my God, the magic felt so great. And suddenly this person is like, ah, oh, difficult. Like, this is what I'm seeing here within a Ten of Swords. Like, this person is so difficult. Like, you just don't understand why this person is so difficult. I'm also seeing, like, this person is, like, not taking the responsibility of being so difficult. It's like they're thinking that you are crazy because you are Scorpio, you're intense, you have a lot of feelings, and you just like to explore and to, like, everything be on the open, especially with your partner. And they're like, what is going on? What is going on? They're making you feel like you're going insane here, okay? But it's not you, it's them. They're standing back or stepping back from this connection. It's a little bit too deep from them for them. Um, this person could have Pisces energy, okay? But I feel like with the Pisces energy is in reverse. It's not in the upright where they're okay with this deepness and darkness, okay? It's like, I don't know why I'm talking like that. Bah, bah, bah. But I just feel this energy. And it's like, it's it's like it's like they're in reverse or they're not connected their, to their emotional side. They're trying to blame you or try to make you feel like something is wrong with being emotionally high. Like, you know, being entwined with your emotions. But tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. All right, so you have a lot of Arcanas coming through here. So far we have three. We have Pisces energy. My cat is in here making problems. Yeah. Yeah. They love being around me, especially when I do readings. Hello, you guys. I am... Okay, not even going to pay attention. Okay, so we have <laughs> the Leo's energy here. Talk about cats, right? Talk about cats. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And then we have Aquarius vibe for the star here. We have uh, the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you are just shady, Scorpio. This is what I'm seeing. Like you're in your feelings about this person. Like you really like this person. This is what I'm seeing. You look at them as a star. You look at them as everything that you ever asked for within the universe. Here they are. You feel like you have it in you. Like you're ready to fight for your person. Like this is what I'm seeing. Why am I picking up this energy and talking like this? Like, ba 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 ba. Like, you're just, like, in this, like, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight for you. <laughs> you know, regardless. Energy. 
like you just know exactly what to do but this person did piss you off though i ain't gonna lie about that like you know like ain't no lie here so <laughs> this person like pissed you off because your energy have shifted but it's like it's not like you don't care about them it's just that you're trying to like protect yourself because now that you see that this person has a tendency to back off or disappear on you you know and not tell you like what it really is you know already that is a burden with this relationship but there is some kind of pull like you feel some kind of pull or special feelings or special energy with this person like you just don't understand it but it's a six of cups obviously this is a past life situation past life connection that you're trying to get right within this life in this energy in this physical realm in this planet you're trying to get it right together okay um Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so this person is coming towards you, but I feel like this person is coming towards you. Be careful within the chariot, you guys. This person is coming towards you for success, but they don't know how to get it with you because what comes next is the King of Cups energy, the Ten of Cups energy for those of you. I'm just seeing like a fall down. You know when someone comes into your life and they're so excited, they feel like, oh my God, this is going to work. And they have the intentions to make it work. But when the transitions start happening and when the differences start coming to light, then, you know, this person kind of like shift, is, shift back and start acting like how they act before. And this is exactly what I'm seeing here okay so the ten of cups energy is not looking like it's good your 11 11 is feeling off your fulfillment is feeling off because this person is not appearing to be what you want okay and this person cannot give you that like they're holding back this offer towards you right now this is what i'm seeing here my kids are in here and they're playing and they're like doing their thing so you might hear running and jumping in a moment you know running for their lives or something because they're always trying to attack each other i don't know but just to give you a heads up with these cats that I got, my baby, my fur babies. <laughs> All right, so we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Four of Cups here, and we have the Four. Wow, Four of Cups, Four of Swords next to each other. Oof, Scorpio, next 24 is looking kind of like in between. It's like I'm seeing like you're getting some time with this person for those of you who are separated. So don't worry that you don't, you're going to get that time with this person like this person is going to come back. I'm seeing like you're going to try to fix things. You're very determined to fix things. And this person does one. It's like I'm getting like a different kind of vibe because you're coming off as like, you know, this like emotional person and and trust me you know you know this person could also have cancer within their chart or something like that but then you know someone else is coming off in a different way logically they're coming off as leo's energy like trying to fix this and someone is trying to come in with sex or you know kisses and hugs you know but there's it's like two different kind of like ways to solve something but it kind of like yin and yang work together <laughs> works together that's what I, i'm just like getting that like when i'm looking at this i'm like oh my god these two are different like i'm just getting like you guys knew that you were different on the outside and you're like oh this is not going to work but for some reason you just could not you could not get away from each other you're being pulled to each other soulmate connection or some kind of soul tie i'm not sure what it is but it's a contract all right so we have the Eight of Swords energy, the Four of Cups, like I said, and the Four of Swords, okay? So you're waiting to the point that you fall into some kind of mental agony because this person is not moving fast enough for you. You want to know the truth, and it's like you're waiting and you're hoping, and you're in tears at night because this person is just not there. It's like they're in this pause mode, and I feel like what, what is about this pause mode, why this person is not coming to you because they're ashamed. They're ashamed of putting the, the, the tail between their legs and coming towards you. They're ashamed to take responsibility of their actions. So they're waiting out, hopefully, that, you know, you will make the first move. This is what they're saying. Like, they want you to make the first move, the first step. Oh, my goodness. And you waited for this person, waited for this person until the point that you lost your mind. Look at you. You have so many questions and, and, you know, situations that you want to talk to this person about. You have so much things that's on your mind. This person lied to you. This person kept you restricted. This kept it, person kept the information away from you. You want to know why. Your self-esteem is hit dramatically. 
you need this clarification so you can heal yourself again wow this is why you have this um energy within the next 24 to get this under control even though you have changed dramatically how you feel for this person or how you deal with this person tell me more holy spirit we have the queen of pentacles the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles in reverse so there's no communication here there's no communication no real communication there's such like a huge embarrassment with the the seven of pentacles here or someone took something from you you could have lost something lost your money with this person lost some kind of independence with this person this person's like borrowed money from you because i'm seeing like the queen of pentacles you're you're showing up as being very secure and stable in life like you have worked really hard to get where you are today and this person took something from you and didn't even call you or when you're trying to get it back <laughs> this person disappeared wow so you have a lot to talk to this person about. You're kind of lost. Tell me more. Yep, the Eight of Pentacles. We have... Wow, you're going to find out what's going on. The Eight of uh, Wands and Two of... Ooh, it's difficult. Difficult. Very difficult um, decision to make here. Within the Two of Swords, you want to make peace with this person. You do. You don't want to break bridges. You want to do things the right way. But this person, there is no change. You know, this person, you know, took a lot from you. A lot of you could have lost your, say you had a job and this person works with you. Oh my God. And then suddenly you got demoted. Um, or this person took, you know, this person could be a boss or something like that. Or someone above you at work. And this person took your hours, took your money, fired you. Or did something to take something from you. But I'm seeing that you're going to be receiving messages from this person you're going to receive it all i'm just like that's just an, an exponent like an um an example you guys so just you know hear me out but i feel like that's what like some form of energy like that you know like this person has some form of control over some kind of funds and i'm seeing the eight of pentacles i'm seeing too much cards that you're losing funds and you're showing up to be this like capable person but, you, you know, and with this energy, it's like it's not going to hurt you. This is what I'm hearing because you're still showing up as the Queen of Pentacles within your reading. You're showing up as a secure energy. You're going to have to work for everything that you have, but you are secure in this life. And that's all that you need to know when it comes to financial desires. You are secured. So all you have to do is manifest that and it will come to you. Money will come to you. Like you... you, you it's like I'm getting like an energy like money's always going through your hands. Like money's always being placed in your hands. Whether you want to spend it or not, it's going through your fingers, right? Or whether you save it or not, it's going into your bank account. But money is always there for everything that you need. Even though you're probably living by paycheck to paycheck, the universe is giving you money. But you make your own decisions whether you want to save it or spend it on, you know, a $500 watch or whatever the case may be, okay? But you're always that queen of pentacles, okay? Um, but I'm seeing you're going to be finding out what happened to this fund. It's like someone could have scammed you here too. This is what I'm getting. And you're trying to find out like what happened. Tell me more. Yeah, new money is coming in. It's all about money here. I'm seeing money. Look at this. New money, the Ace of um, Pentacles energy. You also have, wow, the, wow, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person ain't coming towards you. So this new money that you're getting is not going to be from this person. It's not going to be from this person. This is from the universe. Like I picked up the universe within the star is always provided for you. It's always provided for you. So you're going to get some kind of new money. For those of you who lost your job, you're going to get a new job. It's going to be even better. And it always comes on time. This is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow. Yeah, scam. This is a scam. This person scammed you. Five of Swords energy. Or took something from you. Next 24. Watch your bag. This is what I'm hearing. Your social security number trying to put a loan in your name or something behind your back 
make charges on your card they wrote down your card number because you're the queen of pentacles and this page is a, this person is a page of pentacles trying to figure things out they're losing themselves here they need to like really go through towards spirituality but they're fighting this energy they're trying to do things on their own i'm seeing that you're like <laughs> You're being like that person to help this person out, like very loyal to this person's energy. Like it's all about this person's energy. Be careful, you guys, because I'm seeing like this five of swords is dangerous. You know, their eyes are all on <laughs> their eyes are all on you, y'all. Y'all see them eyes all on <laughs> Watch out for this, okay? Five of swords. Deceit lies and betrayal, honey. They lying to the end of time. They ain't trying to tell you the truth about nothing. Okay? We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay? So we have what? We have Aquarius. We have Scorpio. We have Leo. We have uh, Taurus energy. I feel like there's a cycle or a pattern that's happening here with this connection. This is the future energy. I'm just picking this up. This is also faded. Like I said, confirmation with this Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups. <sighs> You're looking some, for some form of change, but I also feel like they're, you're still learning from this person's energy because there's a contract here. The Wheel of Fortune is showing up in the upright. There's still something that you need to learn from this person. This is not over yet. Mm -mm. This is not over yet. Enough is not as well. Enough is not enough right now. You're still learning from this person. And the star is giving me an energy of it's going to be an opportunity coming towards you with this person's energy. You're going to have an opportunity to work this out. Even though you don't see it. This is what I have for the next 24 for all of you, Scorps. I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.